The USDA's monthly cattle on feed report released Friday afternoon showed the number of cattle in U.S. feed yards as of May 1st at 102.2% of a year ago and at a new record for that date. The placement number for April was 8.6% above a year ago, which was 4.3 percentage points below the average guess, but still the third highest in the data series behind 2017 and 2003. Lastly, marketings, or those sent to slaughter in April, were reported 6.9% above the year-ago figure, near pre-report projections. April had one more weekday than it did in 2018. For the complete recap of the latest cattle on feed report, subscribers should click on the news link in Comptel. In other news, NSD Seafood announced that they will restart production at the former National Fish and Seafood Fish Plant this week. Here's Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle with the story. Earlier this month, the National Fish and Seafood abruptly closed the doors of their Gloucester fish plant. Now, thanks to NSD Seafood, the fish plant is reopening and restarting production on the Matlaws brand clams. NSD Seafood bought the Matlaws clam brand, as well as the Schooner brand, two of National Fish's primary product lines. The company confirmed that the new subsidiary, called Atlantic Fish and Seafood, will begin production as early as May 28th, which will allow Atlantic Fish and Seafood to meet customer orders and ship Matlaws products to grocery stores by the end of May. For more on the story, visit seafoodnews.com or click the Seafood tab in Comptel. Thanks, Amanda. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit Comptel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.